Yo, what is happening guys? Reflex back today and guys, we're finally back. Finally, it's been about a month since I've uploaded and I know you guys have been contacting me, contacting me a little bit and you guys have been commenting and stuff wondering where the hell I've been. It's been about a month, so uh, you can probably tell in the face cam I'm in a different location now. So, I just recently moved out into a new apartment and it's going really really well just been really 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 busy doing adult stuff i guess you could say uh just staying busy and um trying to figure this whole thing out got new internet new internet set up and all of that and just adapting to my new environment and i'm really excited and uh, this is the first time i'm able to actually sit down and have some time with the microphone and have some time with the game and what you're watching right here is actually my first uh, GB match. I played this earlier today and it went kind of rusty. This guy, this guy was actually decent. His record, I don't really remember. It was like 50 wins and like something. Oh, sorry if you just heard the oven. Anyway, this guy was like 50 wins and then I don't even know how many losses he had. It was probably, a, I'm pretty sure it was a lot. So, um, I mean, whatever. It, this kind of went downhill, but it's a really, really good game, and I end up doing pretty well. Uh, you'll see, you'll see it. It's a bit of a comeback, so that's exciting. So, uh, I have this map, and then I have second map uh, Hacienda, and that's also a really, really good map. But I'll probably just upload that as a live gameplay, and just leave this one the um, leave this one right here. So, once I get back into the swing of things, I've been taking such little breaks here and there from Black Ops Four. I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, my spring semester of college is about to start back up in a little while here, so that's going to be another distraction, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload content and play consistently throughout the, uh, the spring semester, and that'll be cool. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. So, pretty much, I moved out of my parents' house, and I'm now in a what you would call a garage apartment. A garage apartment, not literally an apartment inside of a garage. It's actually, we have a garage downstairs, and then we have a garage, uh, or excuse me, a garage downstairs, and then we have an apartment upstairs. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's just me and my girlfriend, and it's going really, really well. Uh, we love this place. A friend of ours lived here for about two years, and we let him know from the get-go man as soon as you move out let us know and we'd love to move in just because um we had been planning on moving in moving out around this time in um around december of 2018 and it ended up working out perfectly because he was moving out right then so it really couldn't have worked out any better we got really really we're just really fortunate really happy for the way things worked out and uh, I'm really, <clears throat> I'm really even more fortunate because of the internet. We were able to get really good internet where we are. Um, I was really skeptical on if we were going to be able to get decent internet where this is located. But I contacted uh, Comcast numerous times before we even had plans on moving in. And I asked them about the specific address. And they told me it was doable. But what someone tells you on the phone and what you see on the computer, you never know. It could be different. So um, we finally got the Comcast guys out here. They had to run a wire, and that wasn't too bad. And within an hour, we had better internet than from my parents' house. So easy as that. And uh, it was pretty affordable, so that's that's pretty much the update on the internet situation. And I have hopes on getting a new computer within either the spring or the summer, uh, in the upcoming spring or summer. So that's that, and it's going really well. It's just it's finally nice to be out on my own. Um, I'm 21, and as you guys get older, you'll realize that you love your parents to death, or maybe you don't, who knows, but you love them to death, but it gets to the point where you, you know, you're kind of sick of living with them, you're kind of sick of talking to them every day, and dealing with the bullshit that comes with being uh, the kid. And uh, being 21, you know, you're in the early stages of your adulthood, and when you got one adult and you got two other adults in the house, it just kind of, things can, can, you know, you can butt heads a little oh bit, so that, you know, that happens, it was pretty normal, but my parents knew it, and I knew it, so <clears throat> I'm excited about it, um, and I'm just really excited that I'm going to be able to, like, upload consistently now, I'll be able to play consistently, hopefully without any bothers, and also, I want to do a bit of a tour video, either an apartment tour slash setup tour, something like that, when I eventually get a new camera, because the camera I have right now 
I'm unable to use because it's really shitty. So when I get a new camera, hopefully we can do that for you guys because the setup I got right now is pretty cool. It's a nice little setup. Got my original desk that I used to, you know, I've always played on. I've been playing on this thing for probably five or six years now. So uh, I originally thought I was going to have, <coughs> excuse me, I originally thought I was going to have to get a new desk, but I ended up, I was able to keep this and it worked out perfectly. I have my own little like box space type thing office space it's pretty cool so eventually in the near future i'm going to try to get a setup video out for you guys and um, just show you guys my area that i am now living because it's so unique it's really it's for the for i live in virginia for where i live it's it's very unique you don't see many of these types of buildings like at all it's very very uncommon so we were, you know, we're just really, really fortunate, and things are going, things are going as planned, you know. Uh, we took about two, almost three weeks, helping my friend move out, and then like g cleaning this place. I'm talking like full on scrub, like scrub the floors, paint all the walls. I I painted all the walls. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my allergies are terrible because of the weather. Um. I painted all the walls, got this place prepared and ready to go, and uh, the landlord lives right th right across the street, and she's really cool, so everything's going perfect right now. So, once I'm all settled in, everything's working great, I'm going to be able to hopefully grind Black Ops 4. And another thing I do want to talk about is a lot of people have been talking about Modern Warfare 4 and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. That's been a lot of the talk lately. Haven't made a video on it, but wow. Um... I'm enjoying Black Ops 4. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite video game or favorite Call of Duty in the world, but it, it's a good game. Um, that's all I'm going to say. It's a, it's a really good game. But the talk of Modern Warfare 4 and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, hopefully re being released next year, has me really, really excited because that is... That's just incredibly exciting. And if you guys remember back in March or April when everybody was talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, the it broke the internet, man. Everybody on Twitter, that's all anybody was talking about. And people were so excited. So I think it would be a ginormous mistake if Infinity Ward were to not follow through with Modern Warfare 4 or Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But if they did, one, they would make an insane amount of money. And two, they'd be letting down a lot of people because the general belief with the whole idea of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is everybody would love it as long as they fix a couple little, little things. So, um, just little, like, noob tubes, boosting, all that little, those little things, man. Other than that, to me, it's one of my all-time favorite video games. It definitely, it definitely wasn't the most perfect Call of Duty in the world. But I had so much fun on that game, and I would love to just, like, be able to share my experiences now. Going back onto that game now that I'm 21 and my 9- and 10-year-old self was originally playing. And I just had a blast on that game, and I made so many good memories with so many good friends. So that would, be, that would just be incredible. And I know one thing that would be absolutely for sure is once I have, you know, school's out, I have more time, I'm working, I'm working full-time, and I'm coming home in the evenings, I would be able to grind that game. I know I'm going to like it, so hopefully those two things are going to work perfectly, and I will be able to upload consistently, upload every single day, multiple uploads a day, which I'm going to try to get back at, but um, and just have a good time with that game because, you know, when you truly do enjoy something and you enjoy playing it in a, both in a public sense and a competitive sense, you're going to you're gonna upload more. You're going to want to create more content that's just the way it works and people on youtube whether you be a viewer or a you know uh creator they 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 notice that they realize when you're having a good time and when you're not and uh through the jetpack era even though i grinded through my channel and really really tried to you know get things out there and tried to make content as much as possible it really wasn't in my heart that i loved the game so anyway guys thank you so much for watching that little update i'm gonna upload the second map in just a minute i'll see you later peace Thanks for watching the video guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay connected with the channel. Also, hit the little notification bell and select all to get a notification every time I upload a new video.